Brum, brum, brum. Faster! Wow, there's a lot going on in the yard today. Yeehaw! There's Farmer Eddie. Giddy up, horsey. And there's... <gasps> a bear? It's okay. He's a nice bear. He's just visiting the vegetarian. Hi. I think he means veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> Brum, 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 brum. Mr. Papa needs to see you, Vet Sophie. He has a tummy ache. I'll be right with you. Hey! Here comes Vet Ella. She's bringing Lucky home. Hooray! Lucky's home! Sorry, Mr. Papa. I have to go see Lucky. But you stay here and don't move a muscle. I'll be right back. Oh, Lucky, I'm so glad you're back. Are you okay, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky doesn't mind going to the vet. Checkups keep him well, and he always gets a treat. Brum, brum. Vet Sophie, my horse needs his teeth brushed. I'll go after Miss Bear, Mr. Papa, and. and the lizard? Lizard? I've never seen a lizard before. Ah, that's a lizard! Awesome! Amazing! Whoa! Hi, little lizard. <laughs> Come and say hi, Mia. No, thanks. I don't think I like lizards. Why not? He's very nice. He looks all scaly and icky. I like fluffy and furry. He's not icky. Go ahead. Touch him. Ugh, no. We should go on an adventure. Right now. What kind of an adventure? The kind that doesn't have any lizards. Just fluffy and furry animals. Like a farm. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, me too. Okay, here we go. Bye. Have a nice time. Some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Butter sandwich? Another egg! Another egg! Another? Bike horn? <laughs> egg! Egg! Soccer ball? Okay, that's enough collecting eggs. It's time to milk the cow. Cow. Nah. It's a baby cow. A calf. Aww. What you doing, little calf? Shh, I'm hiding. <laughs> we can still see you. Oh. Why are you hiding? No vet. No vet. You're supposed to see the vet today? Mm-hmm. You don't like the vet? Mm-mm. Catherine! Where are you? <gasps> no vet! No vet! No vet! Uh, uh. I do not think she likes the vet. 
She doesn't know him. He's coming over to the farm today to give her her very first checkup. Is he a nice vet? Oh, very nice. And Catherine will see that once she meets him. I really must find her before he gets here. Want us to help you look for her? Oh, yes. Thank you. in all this corn. <gasps> I know how. Wait here. Whoa. Awesome. If we collect all the yummy ears of corn, we'll be able to see where Catherine is. Good idea, Eddie. Broom. Good luck. Please find my baby. Scared, Catherine. But vets are really very nice. Hey, I know a vet who's super nice. Do you want to meet her? Meet her? Uh huh. We can just go for a visit, and you'll see how nice vets are. Just visit? Just a visit. You come with Catherine? I'll be right by your side. This is the vet's waiting room, where the animals wait until she is ready to see them. She helps all kinds of animals. Horses and kitties and lizards. Ah! Ah! <gasps> lizard! 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 Excuse me, everyone. I'm veterinarian Sophie. Is everything okay? No vet, Sophie. There's a lizard in here, and I do not like lizards. I see. Do you know any lizards? Well, actually, no. Then how do you know you don't like them? Ooh. It's not really fair to decide you don't like someone before you even get to know them. <laughs> So you've never met a vet before You've never met a lizard Before you decide I do not like There are some things to consider Vets keep pets healthy and strong Lizards are gentle and shy They eat bugs so gardens can grow Vets are so helpful and kind Lizards like to lie in the sun Vets can take care your horse. He can run, but he doesn't bite. And she won't bite you, of course. You just never know what someone is like until you get to know them. So take the time to meet them first, and you may find you like them. Are you ready to meet your vet and have your very first checkup? Mm-hmm. Mama! We go home now and see Catherine's vet. We sure will. Thank you all for your wonderful help. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Bye, Marge and Catherine. Bye-bye. Catherine's very own vet will take good care of her. That makes my heart sparkle. Hey, guys! Do you see the lizard anywhere? 
Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, over here. He's on the swing. You're lucky. Here he is, Mia. Shh, Eddie. That sweet little lizard is trying to sleep. Aw. Go back to sleep, little guy. Oh, you're not scaly and icky at all, are you? Come on, guys, let's ride! Shh! Oh, itchy! I spy with my little eye something green and squishy. <gasps> you spy Jack! Using green squishy paint. Right. Your turn, Tessa. I spy with my little eye. Something fluffy and yummy looking, but you can't eat it. Uh, you spy Cloud. Shaped like a slice of apple pie. You got it, Kobe. <laughs> Is your cloud pie as yummy as my sand pie? <laughs> <laughs> Wanna play I Spy with us, Sophie? I wish, but I can't get up there with this silly cast on my foot. Oh, yeah. We could come down. No, that's okay. How about a sand pie to make you feel better, Sophie? Thanks, but I can't get sand in my cast. It's itchy enough already, and the doctor says I won't get it off for another whole week. Sophie's not very happy today. It must be hard not to be able to run around and play. We should try to cheer her up. Yeah, because that's what friends do. What she needs is a good adventure. Great idea, Eddie. I bet that would make her feel better. Come on, Sophie. We're going on an adventure. How can I have an adventure? I can hardly walk. No problem. We'll give you a lift. <sighs> okay. Are you coming too, Tessa? No, thanks. I'm just going to stay and paint with Jack. Bye. Okay, off we go. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Chef Eddie's famous cupcakes? He's just making a fresh batch now. <sighs> okay, that sounds good. Order up. One cupcake, please. Chef Eddie's almost ready. I'm in charge of the icing. Zig a dig a doo. <laughs> Keep practicing. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. The cupcakes aren't quite ready yet. First, they have to cool down. Then, we can ice them. Uh, Mia, can you come in here? I need help with a little mess. <laughs> I'll be right there. Icing everywhere. Sophie, can you please watch the cupcakes while I help Eddie? Sure. Watching cupcakes is about all I can do with this cast on my foot. It's so itchy. Oh, <laughs> cupcakes. Oh, yummy yum. I wonder if they're free samples. Cupcakes, cupcakes. Can we have some, Mama? Please, please, please. Ah, there. That's better. Did your cast stop itching, Sophie? Oh, it did stop.
stop for a minute. The cupcakes should be cool now. We'll ice them and then we... <gasps> the cupcakes! They're gone! Oh, no! I only looked away for a second. Where could they be? Sounds like a mystery to me. And no one is better at solving mysteries than... Detective Sophie! I guess I could try to solve it. Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. Whoever took the cupcakes can't have gone far. Time to investigate! Hmm. It looks like three monkeys tossing cupcakes at each other. I need to talk to them, but I can't get there with this silly old cast. Never fear. Steady Eddie is always ready to help. Huh? Ready how? Ta-da! Climb aboard. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> what are they doing? It looks like a flute fight. Hmm. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, monkeys. Stop monkeying around. <laughs> I heard you three talking at the bakery. You thought maybe the cupcakes were samples, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you accidentally take them thinking they were free? Huh? Then what's behind your backs? Bean bags to practice our juggling. <laughs> we're not very good yet. Don't worry. You just need a little more practice, and you'll be great. Okay. That was fun, Detective Sophie. It was, but no more time for fun. We still have to solve this mystery. Hmm. If the monkeys didn't take the cupcakes, where else could they be? Aha! I remember those baby bunnies asking their mama if they could have some cupcakes. Maybe they took them when she wasn't looking. To the campsite! Do you really think they took the cupcakes, Detective Sophie? I hope not, but I have to ask. Why, hello, Detective. Can I help you? Mrs. Bunny, I'm afraid your babies might have taken Chef Eddie's cupcakes without paying for them. Do we get broccoli and cupcakes? Are they broccoli cupcakes? <gasps> broccoli cupcakes! Broccoli cupcakes! Broccoli cupcakes! Broccoli cupcakes! Oops. Sorry, Mrs. Bunny. I understand. Even really good detectives can be wrong sometimes. Broccoli cupcakes! Yeah! Okay, team. Let's go back to the scene of the crime. I need to find more clues. And we're here to help, Sophie. If it seems like something's missing and a friend's not feeling grand, you can do much more than wishing. Stop and lend a hand. A hand is grand. Lend a helping hand. Sometimes giving help to others means you need to watch for clues. All your sisters, friends, and brothers will at times need help from you. A hand is grand, lend a helping hand. If a friend is feeling blue, it can seem like a mystery. Think of when you felt that way and help them. That's called empathy. Empathy? Empathy is understanding the feelings of others. Kobe, you took the cupcakes? Yes, I took them to decorate. What do you think? Oh, I guess I should have told someone, huh? It's okay. We had a really fun time figuring it out. 
and this mystery is solved. Oh, are they ready? Just in time. <laughs> we have customers. Cupcakes! Yummy cupcakes coming right up. Cupcakes! Cupcakes! cupcakes. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Here, have one, Mama. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> oh, they're good. Well, maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. That was awesome. Sophie! You're back. Are you feeling better? I feel great. I thought my cast would keep me from having fun, but I did have fun, thanks to my friends. I have an idea. Let's decorate Sophie's cast. Yeah, we can use stickers. How about right here? I want the lightning bolt. One at a time, guys. Ready! <laughs> <laughs> cool! Wow! I love it! Now I never want to take my cast off. <sighs> well, maybe not never. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Sophie! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> Fun! <laughs> this is gonna be the most super cool, super scary obstacle course ever! It will start with me swinging over wild animals in the jungle on a vine. The tire swing will be a perfect vine. Then I'll cross the Grand Canyon, one hand in front of the other. Okay, what should be next? What you doing, Eddie? Oh, I'm just working on my obstacle course. You know... Doing my own thing by myself. Ooh, I want to do your own thing too. It's not really ready to do yet, Mia. Maybe later. <laughs> Sophie, come do our own thing with Eddie. Okay. Looks like fun. What you gonna draw, Sophie? Hmm. I don't know yet. What about you? I don't know. What are you doing, Eddie? Just, uh... Hey, what are you guys doing? We're doing our own thing with Eddie. Eddie? <laughs> oh, yeah, good idea. <gasps> you build the front, I'll build the back. Hi, Eddie. Want to build a sand castle? Um, no thanks. We'll put it right in the middle. Careful. Hey, Yeti. Good boy, Lucky. I wish there was some place I could be alone to finish my obstacle course. Like the North Pole, or the top of a mountain, or the bottom of the ocean. That's it. A submarine adventure. All alone in a submarine at the bottom of the ocean. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Huh? Exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. for being on my own. Wow! wow. A submarine! Cool. cool! This is going to be so fun! Sigga, Tigga, too! Yay! This was a great idea, Captain Eddie. Oh, uh, thanks. What should we explore first, Captain? Scientific fact. Coral reefs are full of all kinds of sea creatures. What in the name of Mighty Minnows is that? We should definitely go and find out. Good idea. 
What are we waiting for? Let's go! <sighs> this is awesome! Look at that! Whoa! A desert island! Now that would be the perfect place to be alone to finish my obstacle course. Hey, Eddie! Whoa! 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 Uh. Oops. Uh, sorry. Uh. Huh. Ah! Full stop! Aye, aye, Captain Eddie. Huh. Uh. 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 <sighs> this is so not my own thing. Look at that! It's so pretty! I love this! Beautiful! Oh, it's so crowded in here! I can't think! God. But there's plenty of room out there! Now, this is what I call being alone. Hello. <laughs> well, almost alone. But I'm definitely doing my own thing. <laughs> Whoa, I'm really dizzy. Look, it's Eddie. That looks fun. I bet I could get really dizzy inside a bubble. Now to finally finish my obstacle course. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Hi! Hi! Whee! We got bubble two! Yeah! What a great idea, Eddie! Yay! Oh, the island! That bubble thing wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh well, back to the drawing board. And this is the biggest drawing board ever! So after swinging on the vine and crossing the canyon, I'll have to... <gasps> <gasps> they found me. Hey, Eddie! What you doing? Looks like fun! Yeah! Dig it, dig it, too! Awesome! Stop! I really, really, really just want to do my own thing today. I'm sorry. I'm trying to design this really cool obstacle course, but it's hard to do when everyone is around me. I kind of need to be alone. Is that okay? Sure, it's okay, Eddie. Really? We didn't know you wanted to be alone. Oh, Eddie, you should have told us. You're right, Mia. I should have. Come on, everyone. Let's go and look for some seashells and let Eddie play alone for a while. Okay, bye, Eddie. Sounds good. Go, oh, Eddie! Thanks, guys. Sometimes it's nice to be alone. Sometimes you want a quiet tone It's hard to send your friends away When they just want to stay and play On a bright and sunny day But you know friends aren't there to help you Do what you like to do So if you want to be alone Just give your friends a clue And when you need a quiet zone Wanna do it on your own Your friends will know just what to do <laughs> And give you time that's just for you Cause all your friends aren't there to help you Do what you like to do So if you wanna be alone Just give your friends, give your friends a clue Woo! <laughs> that was 
Steady Eddie's super cool, super scary obstacle course is finally finished. Yay! Woohoo! Go, Go Eddie! Eddie! You did it! Nice one, Eddie. Show us how it works, Eddie. Okay. Three, two, one. across the jungle, over the heads of ferocious jungle animals below. Whoa. He crosses the Grand Canyon <laughs> using only his hands. <laughs> then crosses the rushing sandbox river, balancing on slippery rock. <laughs> Finally, Steady Eddie speeds up the tallest mountain in the whole world. <laughs> and victory! Reaches the highest peak. Eddie, that wow, was great. Eddie, you are awesome. So fast. What a course. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, Eddie, are you still doing your own thing? Nope. And from now on, I'll always tell you when I need to be alone. Does that mean we can try it now? Yep. I'm ready for some fun with my friends. Who wants to go now? Oh, I do. I do. I do. I'm here. Please, please, me. Okay, Sophie, do your thing. All right, here I go. And Sophie is up next, folks. Woohoo! Oh, oh, Sophie. Sophie, you can do it, Sophie. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm next. I'm next. Hmm. Does it have fur? Nope, you guessed wrong. So you have to hop like a frog and rib it. Okay, rib it, rib it. Somebody better guess fast. I'm running out of grunts. Does it swim? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And it doesn't have fur. Wait, is it Heroic Hippo from the movie Fuzzy Force to the Rescue? Yes. Ta-da! Oh, I love that movie! It's the best movie ever! Let's act it out! Yes, yeah. yes, yes! Let's go! Uh, Kobe? I kind of remember Fuzzy Force to the Rescue movie. Yeah, you've seen it, right? Hasn't everyone? Everyone but me, that is. I'll be Fearless the Fox. Mia, you be... Braverific Bear. And Sophie, you be Dreamer Dragon. You can be on Hugga the Bull, Tessa. Okay. Let's do the part at the beginning of the movie where they all fly together. Now, Tessa, on Hugga doesn't fly with the fuzzy force at this part, remember? Zoom, vroom. Oh no, I don't remember. I never saw the movie. But I can't tell them that. Maybe I can get them to play something different. Hey guys, let's all play airplane pilot instead. The Fussy Force is already flying, Tessa. And we don't even need a plane. I know, but who wants to go on a flying adventure with me? We're doing a movie now. It's okay. You guys can act out the movie, and Tess and I will have a different flying adventure. Okay. Fuzzy Force away! Goodbye! Let's go! <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. You can be anyone in any situation. 
flying adventure in my plane. This plane is yours? <laughs> Everything in this kingdom is mine. Oh, uh, do you know how to fly it? Fly it? Doesn't every king uh, know how to fly a plane? I don't think he really answered the question. Excuse me! I can't quite reach the pilot place! Ziggy! I think it might be easier to use the stairs, Your Highness. <laughs> yes, of course, I know that. I was just testing you. Shouldn't you sit here, Your Highness? Oh, no, no, no. An airplane pilot should always be higher than anyone else. It's in the pilot's rule book. Um, are you sure you know how to be a pilot, Your Highness? I'm a king. I know everything. But no one knows everything. Kings do! Now, we must turn this plane around. That ramp is going down, and we want to go up. The ramp goes down first for speed, then goes up at the end for takeoff. Oh, yes, of course. I knew that. I was just testing. Okay, here we go. One, two... I am the pilot. I will push the button. <laughs> there. A perfect takeoff. Those birds want to race. I think they're just flying in the same direction. I know a race when I see one, and we simply must win. I'll just spin this speedy thingy here, Ooh, and we'll go faster not than fast. Whoa! 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 No sign of them. We won the race! We won the race! Um, I don't think we actually won. <laughs> of course we didn't. I was just testing you. Well, that is enough flying for today. I shall now land the plane. Are you sure you know how? It's really okay if you don't. I could teach you. I am the king. I know everything. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah. As pilot and king, I command you, Tessa, to land this plane on the landing ground. Strip the thingy, please. Don't worry, Your Highness. I've got this. First, we have to get right. Oh, dear. Do be careful. Steady. Now we start to slow the plane down until we touch the ground. <laughs> and we've landed. Woohoo! Thank goodness. <laughs> yes, magnificent. I did it. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. That certainly was an adventure. You don't really know how to fly a plane, do you, Your Highness? What? How could you? Ha ha! Ha no. Not really. You should have told us. I know, but I felt so... Embarrassed? Mm-hmm. I know how you feel. I was too embarrassed to tell my friends I've never seen the Fuzzy Force movie. <gasps> You've never seen Fuzzy Force to the rescue? Why, I thought everyone knew that movie. Like I said, nobody knows everything. And that's okay. Some people know about being a king. 
lovers fly planes or know how to sing. Some flowers know how to bloom in the spring, but nobody knows about everything. Yeah, nobody knows about everything. Timing. We're just doing the part where the fuzzy force rescues Sniffles the cat. Great! Wait, I can't do that part of the movie because I didn't see the movie. What? You never saw Fuzzy Force to the rescue? Huh? Why didn't you just tell us? I was too embarrassed. I can teach you how to be on Hugger the Bull. He doesn't just fly. He can change himself into any bird he wants. He starts out being a bull, like this. Then he says, bulls run amok. Now I'm a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that you could do such a good duck walk, Eddie. Nobody knows everything, and that's okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a smart, beautiful, talented princess who loved hats. All kinds of hats. And she loved kitty cats. And jump ropes. And balls. And whatever the princess liked, she got. Which is why her name was Princess gets -a -Lot. Is this a real fairy tale? I think it's more of a Mia tale. And Princess Getzalot really loved tracks. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a little too much story in your story, Mia. Maybe you can make one up that has less stuff in it. Nope. More is always better. More hats, more toys, more action! More adventure? Yes! More adventure! Great! Come on, everyone! Let's go! Sounds fun! I'm in! Huh? But wait! I didn't finish my story yet! This adventure will give you even more stuff to add to your story! Yay! More stuff! Have some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Welcome, everyone, to the first annual Parade in the Meadow! I love parades! Me too! Wish we could be in it! Starring our special guests, Princess Mia and her charming friends! Awesome! Cool! We can each make our own float by decorating a trailer! Yes! I'm gonna decorate mine, Tessa style! Mine will be Steady Eddie Ready! Great! Let's do it! Hmm, where should I go? Snow Globia! I'll find some cool decorations here. <laughs> Jungle Land! Awesome! Perfect for 
for my country float. The beach! Time to collect seashells! Tessa style! Snow Globia, here I come! But maybe the farm has better decorations. Hmm. <gasps> Fairy tale land, that's the place for me. Princess Mia! So enchanting to see you! How may I help your highness? I have to decorate my float for the big parade in the meadow. Ooh, how royally fun! I know just what you'll need. This is great, Ginger! But I think I need a little something more. Oh, well, of course, your highness. How about... <sighs> The Royal Trampoline! <gasps> Perfect! Nice float, Tessa. I can almost hear the ocean. Thanks. What's on your float? Oh, come and see. <gasps> Seashells. Oh, and starfish. And a sandcastle. I should have some of that stuff on my float, too. More is always better. Oh, dear. Wow, it's very jungly, Eddie. Thanks. I'd like to add just one more thing, but I can't decide. Maybe a giraffe? It's nice, but you can't really see her head. Right. Sorry, Miss Giraffe! It's okay. I like watching parades, too. Hmm. Maybe an elephant? <laughs> nope. That's not gonna work. Wait! How about a sloth? <laughs> Digga digga doo! I love your snowy float, Kobe. Thanks, Mia. I need some snowy stuff on my float, too. Oh. I had a sloth on my float. Thanks! See you at the parade! Oh. My float is good, but it needs more stuff. Come on! But uh, your float is so nice, just as it is. Blue it away from me, you hate it! It's about to start. Where's Mia? Oh, there she is. Hello! We're coming! What happened? I don't know. My car just stopped. I think maybe your float is too heavy for your car to pull. There's too much stuff on it. But more is always better. <laughs> Isn't it? Actually, Princess, I think your float looked just perfect before we added all these things. Oh, maybe you're right. I should have looked at what I had before I added more. Want us to help you put it back the way it was? <gasps> yes! Let's do it! Cake is very 
very nice when you have one yummy slice. But eating too much cake just might make your tummy ache. Too much can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. Making noise is fun when you jump and skip and run. But making too much noise just might bother and annoy. Too much can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. Too much cake. Too much noise. Too many hats. Too many toys. Too much can be too much. Think before you get more stuff. No need to be selfish. What you have may be enough. What you have may be enough. For helping with my float. I was being kind of selfish wanting everything on it. To your cars, everyone! The parade's about to begin! Let's go! Woohoo! Zig a dig a doo! Hi! <laughs> Woohoo! Here I come! I love this! This is awesome! Ta-da! It's the most fabulous float in all of fairy tale land. <laughs> what a fun adventure! Yeah! And I have a great story to tell now. All about a parade that had a farm float, and a jungle float, and a beach float, and a snow float, and a fairy tale float. And all the floats went past a tall tower where a princess was kept by a witch. And there is a dragon and an ogre and a... Uh, too much? Yes! yes. <laughs> You're right. That's a story for another day. Back to the parade! Princess in a golden dress. I think I'll paint your portrait, Mia. Huh? That means a picture of your face. Ooh, perfect. How about you, Kobe? I'm going to paint a still life, otherwise known as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Come and play soccer, you guys. Yeah, we need more people to make the teams. No thanks. We're painting right now, and... <gasps> this paint is all dried up. Someone didn't put the cap on tight. Someone didn't put the caps on these at all. Rats, we can't paint without paint. Then come and play soccer. No paints needed. No thanks. Let's all do a puzzle instead. I like this one. That's my favorite. Hmm. Huh. This can't be right. Somebody didn't put all the pieces away last time they used it. What? I was in a hurry. I think we all must have been in a hurry when we put stuff away. It's a mess in here. We'll have to clean it up if we want to find the puzzle pieces. Or, instead of playing with the race car puzzle, we could go on a race car adventure! Sika Diga Doo! That sounds like fun! Can I be on your pit crew? What does that mean? Race cars need tuned engines, inflated tires, and full gas tanks. That's what the pit crew does. Ooh, I want to be on the pit crew too! Cool! Come on then! Let's go! Awesome! I'm gonna stay here and look for the rest of the puzzle pieces. Okay, Sophie. We'll help you when we get back. <sighs> hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go.
awesome race cars! Where does the pit crew go, Kobe? To our pit. It has everything we need to take care of the cars. And they'll take care of the other team's cars. Welcome, racers, to the Radical Rainbow Road Race! Each team races four times around the track. Everyone who finishes the race gets to ride the rainbow. Yes! Wow! Let's go! Yeah! Woohoo! your mark. Get set. Go! Better move over, monkeys.
good try, guys. Sorry you didn't finish. We could have finished if we'd taken the time to take care of our cars. Yeah. Do you want to take care of them now? Can we? Sure. And we'll help. Cool. Let's do this. Yay! There's a time after you play when you need to put your things away. If something special and you love it, take the time to take care of it. Make a mess and have your fun. Just put things back when you are done. If something special and you love it, take the time to take care of it. Cause when you want your stuff fun, chest puzzle. <gasps> hey, you guys! Want to go on a treasure hunting adventure with us? Sure. Okay. Wait. Wait. <laughs> we'll go right after we finish finding these puzzle pieces. All right. Let's clean up. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and my aunt told me she sent me a package in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. Uh, it's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest. It felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah. I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah, a mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes, let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> cool. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be what we have to deliver. <gasps> wow. Let's 
Lucy. This delivery is for Humpty Dumpty to help him get down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears for their porridge. <sighs> wow, someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> Even has a wand. Wow! Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here at the fairy godmother's cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the fairy godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here and make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh! Right back. Hi! Princess Mia! How lovely to see you! Huh, thanks! We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. Oopsie! But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. <sighs> this will help you get down. <gasps> Just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the three bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! <laughs> They're special temperature-controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, now it's on to the fairy godmother's cottage. It's getting kind of late, Kobe. Maybe we should deliver the fairy godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this fairy godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're gonna be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how fairy godmother feels too. Oh, I never thought of it like that. 
She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. I bet for her, it's hard to wait. Just like me. And that's not great. We should hurry to her place. Put a smile upon her face. That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So beautiful. That makes my heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. <laughs> Digga digga do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi guys, we're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye bye Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Zigga digga do! And there's enough to share. Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards! while we're eating the cookies. Yeah! yeah. Great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place. Oh, no, for long. <laughs> Excuse me. Speedboat coming through. Vroom, vroom. Tessa, you knocked my sailing ship over. And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Kobe, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat, my speedboat. Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia. But I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Have a fun trip. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Nothing better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! In 
since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! Uh, 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 no, this way! Uh, this way! Not that way, this way! I'm the captain! <sighs> Can I help? Yeah. No, I've got this! Yeah. Yes! Land ho! Uh-oh. I better go steer the ship away from that island. Guys, stop! I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <sighs> I'm Captain. <sighs> no, no, I am. Guys, wait. Uh-oh. Abandoned ship! Hey, I thought I was the captain. Okay, captain, what do you think we should do? Mm, uh... Abandoned ship! <sighs> water, water. I need water. <coughs> I'm so thirsty. Just got here, Mia. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do we do now? We need to get our ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here. I know how to get us off this island and back to sea. I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it. Uh. Looks like you need help, Tessa. did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Uh -huh. Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you going to get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe? Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? Come on! I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water. I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. 
And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it so it can roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay. How? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail, and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem, two can talk it through, three can work together, four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful, two can help much more. It's better when there's three, and even better when there's four. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yay, it worked! Oh, Yay! Way to go, team! We did it together! Yeah! I'd call that a win-win. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> With special help from my new little buddy. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Elephant. Yeah. Now let's head home. Wee! Wee! And Sophie, you be the captain. Aye aye to that. Okay. <laughs> It's an honor to be in charge of the best crew ever. Because we all work really well together as a team. All Yay! right! All hands on deck. OK. Let's do it. Yeah! missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home! Sounds cool! Yeah, we've been having fun too! We're making a whole city out of sand! Awesome! Yeah, awesome! Great job! Thanks! Wanna help? Sure! I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean... We can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city ever! Yay! Whee! Awesome! Let's do it! Hey! Yay, horsey! Get along, little doggies! hey -ya! Doggies? That's a kitty and a zebra and a... No, partner! A doggie is a cowboy word for little cow! Oh! And we're pretending these guys are cows. So, get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tessa, want to be in our cowpoke posse? Yeah, we're rounding up little stuffies. I mean, doggies. Huh? Not doggies, Lucky. Doggies. See? <laughs> well... It looks like fun, but it's such a hot day. I just want to drink lemonade in the shade. Hey, guys. Anybody seen Kobe? He likes to run through the sprinkler with me when it's hot. Huh. I haven't seen him all day. <laughs> that almost sounds like music. That sounds pretty good, Kobe. Oh, hi, Sophie. I'm making up a new song, but I don't have all the notes down yet. That's okay. Keep playing. I want to hear the rest of it. I don't want anybody to hear me play till it's perfect. 
But you're so talented. Whatever you play will sound great. Well, I guess I can try. <laughs> Ugh, that didn't sound right. I don't think I should play anymore. Sure you should. It sounded... Yee-haw! Me and Wrangler Mia just had a rip snorting idea. Who wants to go on a cowboy adventure with us? That sounds like fun. Yeah, I'll go too. <sighs> it's too hot to pretend we're cowboys on the dirty, dusty prairie. Hmm, not if we're snow cowboys. Now that sounds cool. Let's move it. All right. Dig a dig a do. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Tent. Let's make a snow cactus. Yeah, <laughs> snow cactus. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. And here's our campfire. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Now all we need is a cowboy song. Hey, Kobe, how about that when you were playing on your harmonica? But I don't have my harmonica. No problem, buckaroo. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I'll try my best, but it might not sound very good. Oops, sorry. Sorry again. Keep going, Kobe. It's getting better. Kobe, I love it! Yeehaw! Wow, that sounded great, Kobe! Yeah, that was awesome! Even the little doggies liked it. I mean, little penguins. Penguins? What penguins? Did someone say penguins? Because I'm looking for my little guys. Hello, Mama Penguin. They were just here a minute ago, but then they left. Oh, where'd they go? Actually, ma'am, they skedaddled off all over the range. That's cowboy talk for. We don't know where they went. Mm, I told those little waddlers to be home before dark, but sometimes they have so much fun they forget. Well, they did look like they were having a great time. They were so cute dancing to Kobe's music. They were dancing to my song? <laughs> yep, until you stopped. Then they headed for the hills. Oh, I've got to get them home before their bedtime. They have so much energy. Ma'am, I reckon me and my cowpoke posse could round up those strays. I found some tracks. Wet-footed, like baby penguins. But they go off in all different directions. Shucks, partners. We'll just split up into two groups. Mia, Mama Penguin, you come with me. And Tessa, Kobe, and I will follow these tracks. Yee-haw! <laughs> something to make them come to us. <gasps> you mean like fishy treats? Come and get it! <laughs> All right, it worked! Come on, little penguin. Let's get you back 
to our campfire and your mom. Come to mommy. Come on. Squawk, squawk. There's one. So cute. Oh, my baby. Come on, little fella. Let's herd you back to the corral. Great work, everybody. This is going to be a super snow corral. Yeah, this should keep that little guy from wandering. What? He's gone. Oh, no. Howdy, y'all. We got one. How'd you cowpokes do? We found a penguin baby, too. But by the time we finished our super cool snow corral, he sort of wandered off again. We'd better get the penguin we found into the corral. <gasps> oh, not again. Now how are we going to get them back before sundown? I don't know. My little flippity flappers have so much energy. <laughs> they sure do. You should have seen them dancing to Kobe's music. Mia's right. They did love Kobe's music. So maybe if you play some more, they'll come back to hear it. <gasps> yeah, yeah Kobe. Kobe, play some more. It'll sound great. Encore, encore. I don't know. I want to help, but what if I mess up the song again? Kobe, your song doesn't have to be perfect for us to enjoy it. Well, it is a scientific fact that some animals like music, so... Okay, I'll try. Look, it's working! Keep playing, Kobe. You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Just keep on working at it. Some notes may come out wrong. But that won't really matter. We all love to sing along. This is a hoedown. Yeehaw! Sounding good, Kobe. You don't have to be perfect to dance or sing or play. Keep on trying and you'll get a little better every day. Kobe, your song really tuckered out my little waddlers. You're welcome. Aw, yep. Looks like they're ready to hit the hay. Come on, sleepyheads. Off to bed. I bet they'll sleep well tonight. Way to go, Kobe. You did it. Wait till you hear about our snow cowboy adventure. Kobe rounded up a herd of lost penguins <laughs> with his harmonica. I didn't think I could do it, but everyone told me to try. And you, you did, did it. it. Yeah. Play your tune for him, Kobe. Ziga digga doo. Here goes. <laughs> likes the music. Maybe he's part penguin. Waddle, waddle, squawk! <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are here today so Miss Pinky can marry Mr. Lucky. Hey, where's Lucky's hat? I didn't want to wake him. <sighs> I promised Miss Pinky a fairy tale wedding, so Lucky needs a top hat. Okay. I think Lucky's having second thoughts. What happened? Miss Pinky wants a beautiful wedding, like in a fairy tale. But Lucky keeps leaving. Well, I don't think you can make someone get married if they don't want to. Maybe Lucky's just not ready yet. 
Hey, why don't we all go on a fairy tale adventure? And maybe when we come back, he'll be ready to marry. Cool. We can be brave knights. I'll be the princess. Of course. <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. stuck in a tower. Right! Knights to the rescue! Hello? Anyone up there? Yes, I'm here. Great news! We're here to rescue you from this terrible tower. I don't need rescuing. I'm just visiting a friend. But how will you get down? A braid? Fairy tale fact, every tower's got one. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So you don't need rescuing? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> Hello, I'm Princess Mia. I'd love a bite of cheese, please. Mmm. <laughs> Highness. That was our cheese! It was delicious! <laughs> Princess Mia thanks you for sharing. I like to play a royal game after my snack. Don't you, Your Highness? <gasps> oh, dear! <laughs> oh, 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 you'd rather dance. Okay, I love to dance. I'll teach you. This is a special Princess Mia dance. La di da di da di da da di da da di di da di da 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 There's a good boy! You're oh. such a good boy. Who's a good boy? Good boy? <laughs> this is my pet dragon, Torchy. We're playing fetch. <sighs> Everyone looks like they need saving, but no one really does. What kind of fairy tale land is this? Help! 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 Someone! Someone please save us! 
goodness, is everything all right at the mouse castle? No, no, we need saving. Oh, that's wonderful. It is. Here are four brave knights just looking for someone to rescue. Ah, more giants! It's okay, we're not giants. But I can see how we'd look that way to you. All we want to do is help. Really? Yes, what have you got? An ogre? A, a troll? A witch? A rompy stompy giant princess! <laughs> da 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 da! Wee! You guys are doing great! La -di -da -di -da -da -da. Rompy Stompy Giant? Mm hmm. Oh, hi, guys. I'm dancing with my new mouse friends. Come join in. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, can you stop for a second, please? Oh, sure. It's just so much fun. Did you guys find someone to rescue? Actually, we did. Yeah! The mice in the castle are being attacked by a romping, stomping, giant princess! <gasps> a giant princess? Where? Uh, it's you, Mia. Me? But I'm not a giant princess. I'm a little girl princess. To us, you're little. But to the mice... You're a giant! Come on. From down here, Eddie looked so big. That's how I must look to the mice. Like a giant princess. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I never thought about how I must look to you. I didn't mean to scare you. If I was a little mouse, you'd all seem really tall. But if I grew to be your size, you wouldn't seem tall at all. From high up in a tower, you'd all seem really small. But if I came down to where you were, you wouldn't seem small at all. There's no one else who sees the world quite like me or you. The special way we see the world is called our point of view. Point of view. Point of view. Stinky. I think cheese is great. Nine o'clock's my bedtime. To me, that's really late. Point of view, point of view. It makes me me and it makes you you. So when I'm loud, I'll think of you and you can think of me. And we'll never forget and never regret we see things differently. Now we have a chance to show my friends our dance But there's nothing for you to fear Cause I'll be dancing over here! to think about what her friends are seeing and feeling. Even lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Even lucky. <sighs> and I think he's feeling like he doesn't want to get married today. <laughs> but I think Miss Pinky really wants a fairy tale wedding. So we need to find her a new groom. How about Mr. Bear? Ooh, would you like to get married today, Mr. Bear? Mm-hmm. Perfect. We are here today for a fairy tale wedding. Princess Mia declares that Miss Pinky and Mr. Bear will now be married forever and go off to fairy tale land where they will live happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Awesome adventure, Eddie. Yeah, awesome. Steady Eddie is always ready to lead an adventure. Whew. That big adventure made me really tired. 
<laughs> well, not as tired as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, guys? It's Sophie's turn to pick. I was thinking maybe... a picnic? Yeah. I love picnics. I am pretty hungry. Great. I'll go get the picnic basket. <laughs> a picnic doesn't sound like a very exciting adventure, does it, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it does to you, but everyone else really likes Eddie's adventures. Huh? But maybe I can make today's picnic a big Eddie kind of adventure. Thanks, Lucky. That's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> Looks like our picnic is ready. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Come on, we're going on an awesomely amazing picnic. Awesomely amazing? Today we're going to the meadow. Uh, I mean, we're going to... A restaurant! Huh? huh? No, wait! Fairytale Land! The most exciting place ever for a picnic! Awesome! Whoa. Yay! Zig a dig a doo! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. adventure is about to begin. This is a great place, Sophie. I've had lots of picnics here. What? You've had lots of picnics here? Uh-huh. It's so nice and quiet. Well, this isn't exactly where we're going to have the picnic. What do you mean, Sophie? This place is too quiet for an awesomely amazing picnic. We're just here to... The dragon. He's gonna help us toast the marshmallows, right, LD? Marshmallows? Yum! I love toasting marshmallows. Show them how it's done, LD. <laughs> Toasted to a perfect golden brown. <laughs> 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 That's great. But if we aren't eating here, where are we eating? Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Oh, what would Eddie do to make this picnic super awesome and amazing? <gasps> I know. Follow me, friends. We're going someplace where no one, not even Eddie, has had a picnic before. Huh? huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Isn't it awesome? And amazing? Just like one of your adventures, Eddie. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Sophie. <sighs> cool? It's freezing. Yeah. <sighs> Are we gonna have a picnic in the snow? Um, no. We're gonna eat the snow. Snow cones, that is. Hi, Mr. Penguin. We'll have six snow cones to go. We'll have them for dessert someplace nice and warm. Scientific fact, snow cones melt when they get nice and warm. Uh, of course they do. That's why Mr. Penguin and his snow cone cart are coming along with us. 
Off we go to the most awesomely amazing picnic adventure ever! Cool roar, Aldi. That was my tummy. <laughs> Can we please stop and eat now? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so hot. But we have to go somewhere exciting for our picnic. I know. Let's ride motorcycles to the marketplace. Huh? Uh, how about... We go to the farm! <sighs> we like it here. <laughs> okay, we'll eat here. It's just, I wanted today's picnic to be awesome and amazing. Hey! We have our picnic basket. What should I do? What would Eddie do? Follow me, everyone. We gotta catch that picnic. Let's go! I've heard of lunch to go. But this is crazy! Stop! <laughs> now what do we do, Sophie? I don't know. What should we do, Eddie? Huh? You always know what to do on awesomely amazing adventures, so I've been trying to be just like you. Why do you want to be like me, Sophie? Everyone loves an Eddie adventure. My regular Sophie kind of picnic is never that exciting. We love your Sophie picnics. You always bring the best treats. And everything is just right. Yeah, perfect. Sophie style. You don't ever have to try to be like someone else. Be like you just the way you are. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like things quiet, some like them both. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. Cause you're the best you. Some like to fly high, some like it on the ground. Some like things tidy, some like to mess around. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. So just remember, be true to yourself, cause you're the best you. Thanks, guys. It feels good to know that you like me, just the way I am. Of course. We sure do. Yay, Sophie! You are one of a kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It sure would be nice if we could have one of those Sophie-licious picnics right now. But the monkeys took our food. Hmm. Well, then we'll have to fly over there and get it back. Can you give us a lift, LD? Sure. But I can only carry two of you. Are you ready for an adventure, Eddie? Steady Eddie is always ready, Sophie. Let's go. We need two snow cones, please. Thanks. Here we go. <laughs> hey, guys. <gasps> yeah. yeah! You did it, guys! Woohoo! Awesome! Follow me, everyone. I know the perfect place for a nice, quiet, relaxing picnic. <laughs> that picnic was awesomely amazing, Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for helping out, everyone. 
Next time, I'll just be myself. Trying to act like somebody else is too much trouble. <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Whose turn is it to pick what we do now? I think Lucky has the right idea. <laughs> What is this strange activity? It's called hopscotch. <laughs> you must be an alien. Correct. One alien, two, two heads. heads. Cool. Which is your favorite head? Question, Question does, does not, not compute. compute. They don't have a favorite. It's like having two legs. <laughs> <laughs> you like them both. Wanna play? We thought you'd never ask. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. I spy with my little eye. Um, something really cute. Is it a pumpkin? Pumpkins aren't cute. They are if you carve them that way. <laughs> beep. Oh, oh boy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Boop, beep, boop. Oh, no. Alien down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys want to play hopscotch now? Sure. But I thought you liked playing I Spy with me. I do, but hopscotch with an alien is pretty awesome, too. Uh... Hello! Guys, it's Farmer Jed! Cool! Woohoo! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Hi! Hi! I'll bet he's on his way to set up for a harvest festival somewhere. What's a harvest festival? It's like a big party with hay rides and pumpkins and games and artists and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'd love to go to a harvest festival someday. Me too. Yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to show my paintings there someday. Why wait? Let's all go to a harvest festival today. <gasps> Yay, let's do it! Harvest festival! Good idea! The milk, 
Then we mix it around in this thing we call a churn. And before long, butter blocks. Later, we'll shape them into sticks, like you get at the store. You can shape the butter? Like the clay we play with? Yep, just like that. Hmm. Kobe, I have an idea. May I have some butter blocks, please? Uh, sure. Take all you need. Thanks. And remember, careful not to let them get too warm. They might melt. Ooh, it looks beautiful, Emma. Thank you. It's going to be the biggest, best painting I ever made. <laughs> hey, where is everyone going? Don't you want to see me finish my painting? <gasps> Emma, look at what Jack is making. What in the world is that, Jack? I'm making a sculpture, Emma. Part cow, part sheep, part horse, part turkey, and all butter. I call it the Big Beautiful Butter Beast. A butter beast? That's not a real thing. My painting is full of real things. You should all come over and see it. Right, Mia? Wow. Mia? <clears throat> huh? Oh, right. Coming. I don't get it, Mia. Everyone said that they loved my painting, but now they're looking at Jack's silly, buttery sculpture thingy instead. I think it's cool, and I think your painting is awesome, too. <sighs> well, I'm not going to finish it. What? Why not? Because everyone likes Jack's butterific sculpture more than they like my M amazing painting. Even you. I love your painting, and I love Jack's Butter Beast. I love them both. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah, I never thought about it that way. But what about all those other people? I think they like them both, too. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. Okay. Hmm, really? Let's see. I like hopscotch and I spy apple cider pumpkin pie. I like dogs and birds with wings. In fact, I like a lot of things. Right, like fall and winter, summer, spring. It's great to like a lot of things. It's great to like a lot of things. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods and that's <laughs> so, people can like Jack's Butter Beast and my Harvest Festival painting. People can like a lot of things. <laughs> yep. Oh no, what's happening? My big, beautiful Butter Beast is melting! What do I do? What do I do? We can't let my brother's awesome statue melt. Come on, Mia. We have to get help so we can save the Butter Beast. Save the Butter Beast! Save the Butter Beast! Save the Butter Beast! Save the Butter Beast! Yeah! Let's do it! Hang on, Jack. Help is on the way. Emma, I was afraid maybe you wouldn't like my sculpture. I mean, it is sort of weird. Of course I like it, Jack. In fact, I love it. 
And I love my painting, too. I love them both. Your painting is am amazing. And your statue is butterific. They're different and both great in their own way. Yeah, that's right. It's great to like a lot of things. Right, Mia? Right. <laughs> I like the pumpkin. I like the hayride. And the apple cider. <gasps> oh, let's do a play that has everything we liked about the festival in it. Sounds like fun. We can call the play... Um... Jack and the Pumpkin Stock. Cool, there's a pumpkin in it. Double cool, there's a jack in it. <laughs> there once was a giant who lived in a huge pumpkin with a goose that laid golden blocks of butter and his sister who loved to paint. 